Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to be learning how to crochet a post and shell stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a very pretty stitch, very lacy, but it has these great uh, post stitches here which give it a little bit of texture as well. This is the front of your work and then on the back you have a very smooth uh, lacy shell stitch look. And back over to the front again. The stitch is comprised of front and back post double crochet stitches as well as double crochets and some chain stitches. It uh, works up very quickly once you get going and it is an easy and fun stitch to learn. Today I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and links for both of these items can be found in the description of the video. I'm so glad that you're here and uh, thank you for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the other video tutorials uh, that I have here. Now, for those of you who'd like to follow along, you can find a free written uh, tutorial and photo tutorial for this pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. And once again, the direct link can be found in the description of this video. If you're heading over to my blog, uh, you can just search the post and shell stitch or go to the crochet stitches tab and you should find it there. So for our uh, post and shell stitch pattern, we're going to start by making a slip knot. Our pattern is worked in rows and you're going to need a foundation chain with a multiple of six plus three. So today I'm going to chain a total of 21. There's 20 and 21. Once you have your foundation chain, the de desired number of chains, you're going to work your first shell stitch. And that shell stitch is going to be worked in the sixth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five, six. Into that sixth chain, work a shell stitch. Your shell stitch is two double crochet stitches. chain one and two more double crochet stitches all into the same chain. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and work a double crochet stitch into the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches into the next stitch, work a shell stitch, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches, double crochet into the next, skip the next two stitches, and shell stitch into the next. Repeat that all the way across until you come to your final three chains. At that time you will skip the next two stitches and work one final double crochet stitch into that last stitch and that brings you to the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. Now, working into the chain one space of your first shell, so you're going to skip the first three double crochets there, and into that chain one space, work one shell so two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. 
all into the same chain one space. You're going to skip the next two double crochet stitches and into the next or, or around the post of the next stitch you're going to work a front post double crochet. To work your front post double crochet yarn over, insert your hook around the post or bring your hook in front, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch so from the front around back out through the front again yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two that's your front post double crochet skip the next two double crochet stitches and into the next chain one work a shell two double crochets chain one and two double crochets you're now going to repeat that all the way across skip the next two double crochets around the post of the next double crochet stitch bring your hook in front and work a front post double crochet skip the next two double crochets work a shell into your chain one space repeat that all the way across to your final uh, starting chain three from your previous row and as that is a stitch you're going to double crochet into the top of your chain three so you skip those last two double crochets and then into the top of your chain three work one double crochet stitch and that brings you to the end of your row two you will now see that you have your beautiful shell stitches lined and you have your textured post stitches coming through there for row three you're going to chain three which counts as a stitch and turn your work now similar to the way you worked before into that first chain one stitch work a shell stitch skip those next two double crochets and this time around the post stitch you're going to work a back post double crochet to work your back post double crochet you're going to yarn over bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook around the post of the next stitch so insert your hook from the back through the front out through the back again yarn over draw up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two into the next chain one space work a shell stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way across around the next post stitch work a back post double crochet and then shell in the next chain one space when you come to your starting chain three of your previous row there work a final double crochet into the top of that starting chain three and that brings you to the end of row three at the end of row three simply chain three turn your work and now for the remainder of the pattern you are simply going to repeat rows two and three for as long as you would like so really the only difference in each of those rows is that you're alternating between a front post double crochet stitch and your back post double crochet stitch and when you do that it will keep your post raised post always on the same side of your work so you'll have that nice texture on one side and your smooth back so that's all there is to working this post and shell stitch I would love to hear what you make with it uh, you can leave it in the comments below also connect with me on social media and uh, share your photos there so thank you so much for joining me don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next week until then happy crocheting bye